Hey guys, uh, so not a whole lot going on here. I've got the uh, GBHD color from uh, Gamebox Systems here, and uh, I want to give it a little bit of love. I, to be honest, I don't use this thing very much anymore now that I have a Game Boy Advance based consoleizer. Um, I mean, why not use that one? Because that one plays Game Boy Color games too. Uh, but what this is, this is basically just a Game Boy Color console that has been cut in half and shoved inside of a case that lets you do HDMI out and uh, lets you control it with a Super Nintendo or Super Famicom controller or any of the 8 million third-party alternatives for those. Um, but the reason I'm doing this video today is because the housing I have here is, uh, well, it's seen some better days. Um, so originally I picked this thing up used, and to be honest, it was kind of messed up uh, <laughs> when I got it, but I'm sure the material that it's made from and the environment that I keep it in, not helping. Um, so unfortunately I can't take it apart with my iFixit screwdriver because the screws are a little bit too recessed, but I have another screwdriver here. Um, so what's going on is PLA, the material that this is printed with, I'm fairly certain it's PLA, feels like PLA. Um, unfortunately over time PLA just kind of dries out and gets brittle, or I guess it doesn't dry out, that's actually the opposite of the problem. Um, but either way, over time it gets brittle, starts cracking, you can see that around the power port, all the little cracks I'm getting in the plastic there. Um, all around the side as well. It's not coming out too well on camera, but I don't know if I flex it, you can see it a little bit more. Uh, but anyway, I reached out to Novel, the gentleman at Gamebox Systems at the time, who designed this shell, um, pled my case to him, and he, he shared the, the files with me so I could get a new one printed. Uh, and they'd actually done an update to this case design, so the one I have is one of the old ones that's hinged, uh, whereas this new one is not hinged, but hopefully it fits a little little bit better, or at the very least, hopefully it doesn't crack. Uh, so this part I got printed from JLC PCB, and I got it printed in nylon. Um, nylon has been, I've had a much better experience with nylon, and it looks pretty good. So I'm going to get this torn down, and we're just going to go ahead and do the old swap rooney here. Um, I just gotta figure out the best way to disassemble this thing because I have been in here like twice. <laughs> but um, I don't know that I wouldn't normally do a video on this sort of thing, but um, if you keep up with the retro scene at all um, at Gamebox specifically. You might have heard some news about one of the uh, employees there, uh, Postman. Um, unfortunately, he passed away a few weeks ago. Uh, I don't want to talk about it too much. I don't know the details. Um, and I can't even speculate on it. Um, but either way... Postman was was someone I considered a friend. Uh, met up, met him at uh, MGC. That's unfortunate. Um, sorry, distracted. Uh, met him at MGC. Hung out a few times from there. Really good dude. Shared a lot of our interests. Uh, we shared a lot of interests, rather. Um, I don't know. It 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 hit me kind of hard, and uh, well, the reason I'm talking about it is because Postman is the person who designed this board and wrote the software that runs it. Um, so I don't know. I I guess I just wanted to to sh spread the news if you hadn't heard. Um, I don't know what the hell I'm saying at this point. Uh, anyway, the reason I'm, I'm bringing that up. That's neat, I never saw that in there. 
Um, the reason I'm bringing this up is because an organization that Postman volunteered at somewhat frequently, uh, which you may have heard of, uh, called Free Geek Twin Cities, is trying to run a fundraiser in his name right now. Um, I will go ahead and link, put a link in the description below if you want to contribute to that. I did. I would appreciate it if you guys do too, but obviously, you know, don't don't go out of your way, you know. It's nice if you want to contribute, but if you need money for rent or food or whatever, don't feel obligated to contribute, you know. We'll, we'll get them taken care of. We'll figure it out. Uh, but what they're doing is they have soldering workshops. Uh, so I, I'm guessing you can just show up at the place and show up for one of their classes and they'll they'll teach you how to solder and I think that's pretty darn neat and um, even though I am nowhere in the neighborhood I'd love to help them out with that uh, so I'm doing what I can by uh, by mentioning their fundraiser giving them a link I'll, I'll leave the green not Mostly because mine's warped, but I don't know. We'll splash of color. It looks good. But um, yeah. Anyway, sorry. Totally, totally rambling. Um, I contributed. I I would certainly appreciate it if if you did too. Uh, so, what they're trying to do. God, I've already forgotten. Was it these big black screws? I think so. Um, so what they're trying to do with this fundraiser is they are trying to get new soldering equipment and save up for more soldering kits. Um, I think. Don't don't quote me on that. I'll I'll link the details below. Um, a lot of the communication has been happening in the game box server. Uh, which you can find on their website. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna link it, but I'll link the Gamebox website. Um, I don't know, they seem like a good bunch of folk, and I trusted Postman, and, and Postman seemed to like them, so they're all right in my book as far as I'm considered, as far as I consider it. Uh, oops. But I don't know. That's that's about all I've got. I'll I'm gonna finish putting this together off camera because at this point I'm just gonna keep rambling. Um, but yeah, it's extraordinarily unfortunate. And um, if you ha if you found out through my video, I'm I'm so sorry about that. But what can you do? Um, anyway, I hope you guys are doing all right. I hope everything's copacetic on on your end. And, um, and I'll catch y'all next time, I guess. Oh, and I, I suppose I'll go ahead and shoot a link to the uh, video where I originally refurbished this thing. Um, it's probably a lot better video than this one's going to end up being. But anyway, that's enough. Catch you all next time. So uh, this actually explains a lot, but... Um, the new case I have is designed for uh, brass inserts, whereas the old one you screwed directly into the plastic. I did not realize that. I was wondering why my screws were so absurdly loose. Uh, so what I've been doing, I just place the brass insert in the hole, take my TSADP with the cone tip on it, because that's the smallest one that I had, and just kind of press that in. Just like that. And then you screw it together and uh, it's nice and smooth. Um, did that for the bottom already, doing it for the top, and uh, I'll have to find new screws because those definitely won't work. But M2 screws I got. Alright guys, catch you next time. Thanks.